Alright, welcome back. So last week when we were messing around with some of this other stuff, John, J-Dub, went home and uh, cut some metal, or cut some metal, took it home and drew out with the Sharpie some flags, basically had lines here, and then brought it back in and bead rolled them out. Bead rolled them out and then went and broke the back sides at 90 degrees, about a half inch deep, and then welded some washers so we can mount it up on the wall. Oh, and also drilled 50 holes for our stars, which we ended up with some these number 12 screw head screws. We're going to use for our stars. This is the little number 12 half inch metal screw, stainless steel kind of button head. Oh, it's kind of cool. We've done them before. I actually did the same thing on made probably about 10 of these flags so far. That was the original ones you get right now. Kind of what the stars were going to look like. So now that they're prepped, they're on to the paint side of things. And that's where I step in and we're going to go ahead and clean this really well with lacquer thinner, getting any kind of oils off of it. Probably use a degreaser on it, wax and grease uh, remover on it, and then I'm going to take a red scotch bright pad. Alright, got that got these all scuffed down with the red scotch bright pad and then we're wiping wax and grease remover on them now to help clean any of the residue that the that was left behind from the lacquer thinner. Sometimes it's oily, you can tell, and then scuffing it with a scotch bright pad will bring out some dirt kind of, kind of scratches into the metal. So that's the wax grease remover you could tell we've already sprayed it on there and really took quite a bit of that dirt off which will really help our paint to stick to it. I just got a wax grease remover and a spray bottle and just kind of spray it on there and then they take a rag and the other thing you gotta be kind of be careful is just if you go like that sometimes it'll leave streaks so the streaks you want to try to go straight back and forth at least that way if it's left behind your streaks will match your stripes on your flag. Did put a new piece of nice clean piece of paper down to do our tape taping on. So do is I'll get that one taped up with the one and a half, three quarter, and then probably some of this blue line. This fine line tape leaves a real nice clean edge, a lot cleaner than yellow tape. So I'll get that taped up and then uh, get this one taped up and then go from there. So we got that all taped up, pretty much ready to go. We blue lined all our, our lines where we're going to have our base sitting and then taped off our stars. This will all get based red. And, uh, so that's kind of what we got going on there. And I've got three more to tape up, so it's going to be a little while. But I'm going to keep taping and uh, yeah, get these things taped up and get ready to paint. Got those things all taped up, clean, taped, we blue lined them and then we ran some yellow across here. For the red, we're going to over reduce our red and we're using a ruby red from Lesinol from a past project we had. Uh, that's going to be our red and then on our blue we're going to use a lightning blue, I believe it's a Ford color. We used on a couple projects before we had some leftover. Both those will get over reduced, shot through an airbrush because it can control the amount of of coverage I get easier than I can at big guns. So I'm gonna get those cleaned up, get our paint mixed up, and then get the painting.
so we got the blue painted on that back taped it blue lined it left this blue line and then taped this here put some paper on there and just dusted in some of that lightning blue on there and also we've got the other two done he's untaping the one we got off the he's untaping the one we got down the plasma cutter basically these are all ready to go we'll let them sit for a little while and then later on we'll put them in the booth and hopefully get them cleared tonight at least that's the plan so we're gonna untape these and then get them all set up hopefully over in the booth when they're done we'll get over there and then uh yeah that's about it so far on these Have these things cleared basically I had Tony spray clear on them while he was clearing out a car but wait that so we just oops basically sprayed the car out so we cleared the car so I haven't cleared these while it was at it and then that's kind of what we got left after they're cleared been pretty cool next stop would be to let these things finish kicking off. We run it through a bake cycle. Next step would be to have it run it back over on the other side. We'll let these things cool down and dry overnight here. And then we'll put our stars in there. Put this plasma cut out on the table. But so far I'm looking pretty good. So I'll get these over there and then uh, tomorrow we'll come back and throw some screws on them. finished up putting our flags together got 200 screws drilled in 50 star or 50 screws for each star and that's kind of where we're at on that just to say it's got these finished up cleared them yesterday ran to a bait cycle with that car so they should be nice and dry be able to put them in some boxes I've uh, got a couple days for Christmas but uh, I'm getting rid of a couple of these John will roll them out and he ended up keeping this one here and he kind of took some um, I think it was a belt sander, and maybe it was a die grinder, I'm not sure, but ran some zigzags through that one, which actually looks pretty cool. I was a little worried about it, but I kind of like it. These ones here, we just did that uh, Ford Lightning Blue, that was a little bit lighter than, uh, we just over-reduced it so it was pretty transparent, and we kind of wanted some of the metal to pop back up through it, just, I don't know, to give it a little more character, I guess, who knows. Uh, same with the red, we over reduced the ruby red and sprayed that base on there and then uh, ended up clearing them with, I believe, Glasgow uh, 109. So, pretty much wraps up these. Now, this is some other stuff we got. Seen this in a past video with Tommy Gun. Some of this other stuff's coming up. But uh, one of the other things we did was this plasma tabled this out and then ground it down and cleared it. We'll get rid of that too. That so kind of wraps up the flag video. If you like these videos, this type of silly stuff, give this like, give this video a like, a comment below, and remember to go out there and create something today, even if this sucks. Merry Christmas. Peace.